In the beginning, there was Spectrum, a collection of sorts, frequencies all around us just waiting to be put to use. And from a part of that spectrum, unlicensed and free, Wi-Fi was born. Innovators took hold and created public Wi-Fi. We became connected via hotspots. And as they started popping up all over, dreams of video games and streaming movies and cafes where good-looking people could come together and publish blog posts came true. But Wi-Fi was only meant for simple devices inside of four walls with only a few connections at a time. Hotspots became overwhelmed and Wi-Fi became congested. Good-looking people everywhere had no idea what to do. Thankfully, there's more spectrum out there and it's kind of a big deal. This spectrum can handle more devices and super speeds, one gig or faster. Problem is, the extra spectrum is broken up into small, unconnected blocks assigned to special groups. For the future of Wi-Fi to come true, these pieces need to be freed to be unlicensed and connected, just like the original Wi-Fi network. And then, the sky's the limit. Imagine clouds of connectivity over major metro areas, fantastic, futuristic devices that stream at the speed of real life, 4K movies on the go. With more spectrum, almost anything you could dream, you could do.